Hello, sweet friends. This is Gina. Welcome to the Rebookery channel. I am picking up with episode three of our junk binder um, Christmas journal that we are putting together the pages. I will link the first two videos below. In this video, I'm going to use paint and I'm going to show you some ways to make some pockets and use some of the fabric that is in your kit. So let's get to it. Now I'm going to take a piece of stationery, and there is a rocking horse piece of stationery, and I'm going to offset this one. So I'm going to line up my holes so that it lines up with the top, but I'm going to skip this hole down here because the paper is shorter. So when I put it in my binder, it's going to add a little interest because it'll be offset so you can see how it's offset. And I'm gonna turn my envelope into a pocket and I'm gonna offset this one. And while I went to the top on the, the last paper, I'm gonna to go to the bottom on this one. So line my holes up. And with my envelope, you'll kind of see the edge hits right on this upper hole. So what I'm gonna do is move it down just a bit so I can get all three of my holes punched. Um, with plenty of envelope around the hole. Okay, and it'll look like this. Now I'm going to leave the envelope open because I love that red color. The things I'm going to do is slip in, I have a recipe card that is in the kit. I'm going to slip this in because it just fits perfectly and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little tab on the top here. All right, so my tab is going to be my tickets. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to glue them and this recipe card you can use for photos, you can write on it, you can add your own recipes to it. Again, we're just making the template so you can go back and add whatever you want to your journaling cards and to all of your pages. Okay, so there's a cool little tab. And all I did was pull the tickets apart and flipped one over so that they're both right side up. So that sticks in there. You can journal on this. You can stick something in here. You can journal over here. So you can get a lot of use out of an envelope. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this letterhead for Bill's mail order hobby, and I'm gonna turn this into a cool little pocket. So here was my idea for this. If you'll see, there is a line and we're gonna use the line to help us make our pocket. So I'm gonna take the black line, I can see through it, and I'm gonna line it up with the black line on this side, and I'm just gonna fold it, okay? So you can see I fold it, and it's offset. And this paper, the weight of this paper is just awesome. Now, you can sew it, or what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue. And because of that black line, I can just follow the black line. Now, I'm not gonna go all the way up here and I'll show you why. So let me go ahead and push this down. And so if you remember, I didn't glue all the way because I'm going to turn this into a flap. I'm just gonna fold this down. Okay, so now that I have this little flap here, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into like a little pocket. And then I'm just gonna fold this over here. I'm gonna take one of my vintage Christmas stickers and add a little bit of glue to it. They are sticky, but like I said, they've been sitting in, a, in an old building for several decades. And I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge. Well, I guess I could. Yeah, I guess I can. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there. And if I wanted to put a little piece of washi tape right here, I could. 
Oh, that's kind of cute. The one I want. I love this little card. It's like this little narrow card. So it's a red plain card, but it's narrow. And I'm going to stick it right there. And I'll just slide right in. And before I do that, I'm going to punch holes in it. And I'm going to take the tool that my little golden book was wrapped in. I'm just going to cut me off a bit. And then put this through the hole. So now I have a little journaling card. I can put a photo on here. I can put, um, I can write on here. I could put stickers on here. I'm gonna just tie it in another loose knot. Okay, so then that goes just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put holes in my pocket. So the way I'm gonna put holes is right over here, I have this offset piece. So I'm gonna flip it over, okay? So it'll go in my journal like this. Here's my index, here's the top. I'm gonna line it up just like I've done with all my other ones. And this one I'll be able to get all five holes. There's another page. And that's cool because it's kind of got this little tag sticking out. And so I can journal here and I can journal here. Whenever I'm putting together journals, I always love to go back and check them out. So I've got the index page. We got this page right here. We've got a top loading pocket, side loading pocket, the Christmas card, the coloring book page, the fold out calendar, the letterhead that we just made with the little pocket here, and then there's a little pocket here. And I'm gonna put, ooh, that fits perfect. I'm gonna put, this is so, like there should be a shopping list page or a long skinny paper like that you write notes and stuff on in your kit. So I'm just gonna put that right here, fits perfect. Just be careful if your glue is wet, you don't want it to stick to the bottom. And then here's our envelope, waiting for something. Here's this envelope that we're just going to put that recipe card in and make a tag out of our, our tabs out of our tickets, some stationery, and then here's our index and our recipe pages. So you should have a dark piece of cardstock. It's eight and a half by 11 in your kit, and it's got a decorative punch on one side. So I'm thinking about making this into another fold out. So we'll open it like this, which means we'll offset it when we fold it. But before we do this, I was gonna get creative because it's this dark color and I thought it would be really cool to have a contrast of some lines or some decorations. So there's a couple of different things that you can do. So let me show you a few options that you have. Option number one. Option number one, if you have a sewing machine, take your sewing machine, put in some light colored thread and you're just gonna stitch across the, the whole side from side to side. And if you do light colored thread on both sides, you'll get this cool effect because it's the dark paper in contrast with the light colors. So then you can journal on this or it just makes a great background. You can add a photo to it. Whenever you are ready to put it in, you would just line it up, punch your holes, And then use the template to fold. And now you have a fold out. And it's got some really great texture because you sewed it. But let's say you don't have a sewing machine. What else could you do? Okay, you could get a white pen. So this is a, a white pen. This is a jelly roll by Secure. Sakura. So you could just take a pen. The Uniball Signal Signo is the one I use most of the time, and it works pretty well. It, they're kind of, you just have to play around with the pens, and I have found that once you open the pen, you need to keep using it. So um, if you are going to open it, I would use it as much as possible because otherwise they do they get they dry up and they just get 
really hard to use, but this one actually isn't too bad. The white isn't as bright as I would have hoped it would be, but I got this at Michael's. I think it was only a couple of dollars, and it was over in the scrapbooking section over where the pens and the ink and stuff are. So this is working. I like this. And I'll make some of my lines kind of offset here. So that's not bad. And you can kind of see, it doesn't give you the texture, but it does give you um, the lines. And again, you can do your writing and, and whatever else you wanted to do on this. The other side, I'm gonna do something a little different. This time I'm gonna use just a little bit of paint. And I'm gonna use something to stamp my paint in. And I was just gonna use a pencil eraser, but I can't find one. So um, we're just gonna use this spool of thread and we'll see what kind of cool design we can get. Um, we'll see, I may like it, I may not like it. We'll see what happens. All right, let me practice it right here. Okay, let's see. Actually, I, I do kind of like it, and I like how it's light at the top and dark at the bottom. If I can keep that going, that's actually kind of cool. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I like that. Okay. That is awesome. That is very cool. Okay, so that was just something I stamped with. You can pick anything. You could take the lid from your glue. You could take an eraser. You could take some stamps. Um, oh my gosh, there's all kinds of things that you could do to get creative. Another thing you could do with the dark card stock is you could make pockets out of them, um, out of it with the doilies. So there are two doilies that I have cut in pieces. So you have two pieces of doilies. I think for this technique, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut my cardstock in half and that'll actually give me two separate sheets of paper. So this is eight and a half by 11. So I think I'm gonna to try to go about five and a half on here. I wanna cut enough. So actually it's just right there to the edge of that doily. So let me take this over to my paper trimmer. So now I can put my doilies on here. Now I can glue them I could stitch them on my sewing machine or I could staple them. And if you staple, you would just put some staples here and you would just put some staples here. You wanna make sure you're really close to the edge on this side because this is where you're gonna poke your holes. If you glue, you're just gonna want a small piece of glue. I almost would do a glue stick. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them over to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch them. And so then what that does is that makes this a page. Now what I can do on this is I can actually make this be a fold out this way. So this is a, it can be a short fold out, which I think is kind of cool. But I like this doily part right here. So I think what I'm gonna do, or that doily part, I'm sorry. I like that decorative cut part right there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold just shy of that. Ooh, I really like this. That's kind of cool. Ooh, I really like that. That's really cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to take the piece of fabric and I'm going to just staple. And I'm going to put three staples in. And I, I like the staples. I like the, the messy of the, um, the metal. I just think that's cool. And now, like if I have a photo or something, I can slip the photo like right in there. Wouldn't that be cute? Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna punch my holes. And again, this can go down here. It can go up here. I think I'm gonna go in the middle. So line it up. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so this is a little 
piece of paper that I have made into a little peephole. And what you can do is, my thinking was, if you have a photo, so you're gonna put your photo here, and then you'll be able to see through it. So in here, you would have a photo, you could do some washi tape, lift it up and you could have some journaling. And so this would be a cool little thing to tuck in this pocket right here. I like that. So I have this that I have sewn for you. And this is just a flash card that I have sewn into an envelope. And then there's a little card that I have stuck in here. You can leave the card in the envelope if you want, or you can take it out and do something else with it. So this is gonna open this way. So I'm gonna turn my, like this, so I can see. Make sure the top is at the top. and punch my holes. And so it'll go like this. Cool. So I have this really cool book page that has, I love the scene on the back of it, just the, the decorative. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this into just one page. So I'm going to punch my holes. I will fold using that as the template. Cool, okay. I could use my decorative paper. Oh my gosh, that works perfect. I could take my decorative paper and I could actually glue it onto the back of this. Ooh, I like that. So my handmade paper, and I think what I'll do, I think I'm gonna go this way. And I'm just gonna glue it onto this. And that'll strengthen the paper a little bit and then it gives me a really pretty background. There we go. And then, since I have my sewing machine up, I'm just gonna take this to my sewing machine and just do some stitching. Stitched. So I just stitch this around so it looks like that. Left the strings. Okay, so I like that. I'm gonna stop here for today and continue this journaling session um, with another episode. I hope you guys are healthy, hope you're happy, and do something creative today. Bye.